Hi, and welcome to another short video, this time talking about the basic authentication policy from Gravity.io. So this policy can be used to manage basic authentication headers sent in API calls. So it's a really straightforward way to um, authenticate your APIs using username and password. You can do this in three ways. You can take the data, the username and password data from an inline cache, from LDAP, or from a database, and we'll go through that in a second. Okay, so let's get started with Gravity APIM first. What we'll go what we'll go through is that we've already got an API set up that we've talked about in our previous videos, and it's called the API Travel Off API. Okay, Acme Travel Off API. Okay, so we've got this API set up. Let's go over to Postman. And what we'll see is that at the moment that we've got um, um, the API header is Acme Travel Off. So if we send that, we've got um, the data coming back. And if we go to authentication, we've got no authentication. That's cool. So it's bringing back the data and it's um, essentially keyless API. So now let's head over to um, API Manager again and look for the design. And this particular API hasn't got any policies associated with it. So now let's go to basic and pull over that policy. Now what you'll see is that the policy has been um, just, you can just drag and drop the policy over. And now what you can do here is add a new identity provider. Now, we've got no identity provider set up at the moment, so let's head over to resources. And we can see from here that we've got one inline um, policy. And if we edit that, then we've got a couple of users. Actually, we've only got one user at the moment. Let's add another one. So let's add that one. Let's add Elish and let's add a password, which is admin. Okay, so let's do that. Save and deploy our API. So now what we've got is a couple of users in our inline policy. You can see that. The resource name is called inline users. Let's just copy that into our clipboard and then let's head over to um, design again. Okay, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna head over and use our new identity provider. So let's do inline users. Perfect, and save, and deploy. Great. So now we head back over to Postman. What was working before should actually stop working. And it says unauthorized. But now all we have to do is go over to basic authentication. Um, let's just type in Elish, because that was there before. Let's just type in admin, which is our password, and then do send. And you can see that now it's authenticated and letting me in. If I change this to something that's not there, it's an authorized. So in a, just a matter of seconds, what I've been able to do is add a really straightforward authentication on my APIs. And of course, you can add more um, different, more types of identity provider. So you can use a database to hold your credentials or LDAP integrated with LDAP as well. And that's um, a really straightforward way to add those um, resources in as well. Thanks for joining me on that quick video around basic authentication. I'll see you on the next one.